thing you want to know are you know which functions are even and which ones are odd and what does that exactly mean right so you know the unit circle already and I'll show you an example here if you have a 30 degree angle versus a negative 30 degree angle we know the coordinates of these points on the unit circle are root 3 over 2 1 half root 3 over 2 negative 1 half now on the unit circle, you know that the cosine is the x-coordinate, and the sine is the y, and the tangent is y over x, right? So let's just take, for example, this first one here, the sine of negative x. What does that mean? That means if you take the sine of a negative angle, right, it's going to be the same value as the sine of a positive angle, but it's going to have the opposite sign. So if it's negative, it'll be positive. If it's positive, it'll be negative. So for example, if you take the sine of 30 degrees, sine of 30 degrees is a half. The sine of negative 30 degrees, it's also a half, but see how it's the opposite sign? It's negative one half. So that means that it's an odd function, okay? So all these ones are odd. Now even, take a look at cosine, for example. Cosine of 30 degrees is the x coordinate here, root three over two. The cosine of negative 30 degrees, it's still square root three over two. So whether you're taking the cosine of a negative angle or the same angle but positive, you're gonna get the same value. So if this is negative, this will be negative. If this is positive, this will be positive. The only difference is which direction you're going. If you go counterclockwise, that's a positive angle. Clockwise, that's a negative angle. And uh, you know, that's the idea. So basically, you can see, if you can remember, that cosine and secant, they're actually reciprocals of one another. So th these are both even, meaning you're gonna get the same result back. But all these other ones, sine, cosecant, tangent, and cotangent, you're gonna get the same value, but it's gonna have the opposite sign. So let's look at an example, and I'll, I'll show you how this works. So say you have cosine of negative x. Well, we know that's equal to uh, cosine of positive x, right? The positive angle. The sine of negative x is equal to sine of x, right? But it has the opposite right, value, the opposite sign. Cosine divided by sine is tangent, uh, cotangent, I'm sorry, cotangent of x, but a positive divided by a negative equals a negative. So this whole thing will simplify down to negative cotangent of x. So this has just been a brief overview of understanding the even and odd identities, okay, these even and odd trig functions. So if you found this beneficial, subscribe to the channel, check out more math tutoring videos on Mars Math Tutoring YouTube channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.